Hello friends, welcome to video six in a series of 20 videos talking about the things that I've learned over the last six years eating a raw vegan diet. Today we're gonna be talking about detox. <laughs> so if you're interested, stick around. Thank you again for joining me. This is day six in a series of 20 videos talking about the things I've learned over the last six years eating a raw vegan diet. If you wanna watch all the videos in this playlist series, check out the link in the description box below along with the link for all of our eBooks, over 400 awesome raw vegan recipes, meal plan one, two, three, dips and dressings, the winter book, the nice cream book, all the good stuff is all 40% off with code NICECREAM40, link in the description box below. So. Detox, what have I learned about detox? <laughs> so my experience is what I wanna share with you today. Um, I've learned that I would prefer to have a sustained daily detox that my body does all on its own naturally over every day for the rest of my life than to force my body into extreme states to get to that ex you know, extra detox. I would rather take it slow and allow my body to detox in a homeostatic state where I'm giving it nutrition and I'm giving it hydration and I'm giving my bacteria a good source of fiber. I'd much prefer to do that than to go into the extremes. I get asked a fair amount of times, Lissa, have you ever gone through detox or have you ever fasted or do you fast? I don't, I don't even own a juicer. It's not part of my life on a regular basis. I will sometimes have some orange juice here or there. Um, it's really rare, like maybe once every two months I'll have some orange juice. Or if I'm at a raw restaurant and they have an awesome juice bar, maybe I'll get a juice there. But it's not part of my daily life. Again, we don't own a juicer. But I do get asked if I've ever had any detox. And when I first went raw, like in 2004, I did experience symptoms of detox. I was eating really high fat and I wasn't eating enough. But those symptoms were more like under eating symptoms. I wasn't getting enough nutrition, so I was getting headaches because I just was under eating. Um, I had sore muscles and joints because I wasn't eating enough and I wasn't getting enough hydration either with all of the dried nuts and the high fat. I just wasn't getting enough hydration from my food. I was under eating. So I've noticed and I've realized over the last six years that a lot of people use the word detox to justify other symptoms that have nothing to do with detox. So if you're forcing your body into a state where you're under eating, you're not getting enough calories, you're not getting enough fiber, then if you do happen to have some symptoms, it could very highly be likely that you're experiencing symptoms of under eating. I've spoken with a lot of people who come to me and say, Lisa, I'm going through a lot of emotional detox and I'm all over the place. I'm very, very emotional. And we know that when we release um, foods that are comforting to us, foods that numb us, we are going to experience our emotions a little bit more. But it's not necessarily detox when you're going through this emotional change, especially if you're under eating. If you're under eating, it doesn't matter if you're on a cleanse or if you're on a healthy diet or even a junk food diet. If you're under eating, you're going to be irritable. You're going to have stronger emotions because your brain and your body just aren't getting enough fuel. So it's very, very important to make sure that you differentiate between what's actually detox and what's under eating or not getting enough nutrition. And for the most part, I would say, after the six years that I've been raw, I've noticed the majority of people are experiencing these symptoms because they're not eating enough or they have a deficiency and going on a juice fast or what have you is making it worse. Or if they are not getting enough fiber to feed their good bacteria, then they do a juice fast, it makes it worse and they have more digestive issues after the fast, like months after. So over the years, I have definitely learned that it's more important to me 
to be sustainable long term for the rest of my life than to do short bursts of the extreme stuff. And that's just me. I think that it's a lot easier, it's a lot healthier, it's a lot more balanced to have the body enjoy that state of homeostasis without being forced either way because I've been there, I've done the fasts in the past before I was raw, I've done the master cleanse, I've done juice feasts, I've done water fasts. Every time I feel great, obviously, because I'm not eating the foods that were causing the problem in the first place, but after, because I've gone too long without eating, I feel like I always rebounded. And again, this isn't gonna to happen to everybody, but for the vast majority, this is a problem because we have what's called juice cleanse mentality, where we feel like we can fix everything with a juice cleanse and then all of a sudden eat really healthy for the rest of our lives. It does not happen like that for the vast majority of people. We need to create a healthy foundation, a healthy foundation of a healthy diet with balance and variety. We don't need to dive into a juice fast because if you don't have that foundation, what are you gonna fall back on when you're done your fast? You're going to try and eat clean, but if it's not a habit, then it's going to be very hard to sustain and be consistent with. So start off with being consistent and create that solid foundation of a really healthy, clean diet before you venture into anything like that because you probably don't even need it. If you can get that foundation down first, then you might not even need it. So that's what I've learned. <laughs> Take it as a grain of salt. Uh, it is what it is. It's my belief. It's my thoughts. It's my observations. And that's what these videos are all about. They're the things that I have learned about myself and what I've observed with people. So again, I love you guys. I love you so much. No matter where you are in your journey, I love you and I appreciate you. I appreciate you to no end. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the videos in this playlist. If you want to watch all of them, the link for that playlist is in the description box below, along with the link for all of our eBooks, which are 40% off right now for you. 40% off code is nice cream 40. Um, here's the link and in the description box below, as I mentioned, until the next video, guys, I love you again. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. And fruit on.